Hi everyone, it's Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue, and you can also hear Teddy Bear in the background. Um, I wanted to come today and talk to you about this product that I really love from uh, Cricut, and I'm not sure, uh, but I'm sort of rallying to try to have them keep it. I'm not sure if it's one of those things that's sort of getting phased out or not, but it's window cling. Now, window cling, it's pretty self-explanatory, right? Window cling. It's basically um, what I would consider sort of the um, the, the nervous crafter's uh, introduction to vinyl because uh, window cling is easy to cut. It's easy to put on. Um, it comes off really easily as well, and it uses static cling to cling to windows or other non-porous um, non materials or win uh, walls. Um, so I put these obviously on my window, but you can put them elsewhere, not just window. Um, and they're reusable. Um, and what's the last thing? Did I mention no residue? because no residue is also another thing that people worry about. So, okay, I am going to give you a file that has all of these wonderful spring window cling um, designs. These are all, uh, the file is free in Cricut Community and on my blog, I will post a link um, to the file. Um, it's free and it uses all Cricut Access um, images. That means that if you have Cricut Access, which is Cricut's image subscription program, um, you have access to over 60,000 uh, images, which is 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 mind-boggling there's no way even if even for someone like me that crafts every single day there's no way for me to even consider using every single image that's in there and they're all available to you um, for a very low monthly um, monthly cost anyway so these all use and all of my projects actually use only images coming from Cricut Access so I just wanted to show you a little bit. First of all, um, window cling is weedable. You can use, you know, a regular weeding tool. Let me grab mine here and weed out the weeding is basically eliminating the cut out. Let me just grab this cut out pieces, right? That's called weeding. Or that's what we call weeding in the, in the industry. <laughs> um, so you can weed it that way, or very simply, you can weed it by, oh, I hope it does it for me. Okay, by just peeling it off. And then, ooh, if you're really careful, you get your, your cling that you can put on the window. And these are golden, golden Easter eggs. I've got golden Easter eggs. I've got shamrocks and four leaf clovers. See, four leaf clovers and shamrock, as well as some Valentines in case you still want to celebrate that. Or for next year, you can keep the file for next year. And then also the winter ones. Um, okay, so just to let you know, uh, what I used for this project was actually the um, Christmas sampler, which is kind of funny because I did all spring holidays. And um, it's just a, another point here is that um, you don't, you don't have to color within the lines. You can use things that you otherwise wouldn't use or think of using um, than what is suggested, and that's okay. So don't be, you know, putting yourself in a box about, you know, what, what you can and can't use things for. And maybe you might be able to pick up some of this window cling for Christmas now in the spring and make some of these great projects. So so this is window cling, just to reiterate. It is a product available through Cricut. It's a roll of uh, 12 inch wide, so it fits the mat, um, by 48 inches long. It is 
it is a very thick vinyl or uh, I don't know what the material is, but it's very thick. It's easy to manipulate. It's reusable. It cuts beautifully on, on your Cricut, on any Cricut. It's just a great little product. Currently, there are only um, three colors available on the Cricut website, red, black, and white. But I have a feeling that if we maybe complain enough, we could probably get them to bring it back. It's, it's one of those great products that I've been using for years, and I just love it. So anyway, I hope you all had wonderful uh, Valentine's holiday. I do want to point out one thing. I got these most gorgeous, beautiful uh, floral bouquet from a secret admirer, and uh, I wanted to thank him for that, for the wonderful Valentine's. Um, and uh, which was created from Evans Flowers in, in Peabody, which is my hometown. So um, shout out to Evans and to my secret admirer for that. Okay, that's it for today. Um, listen, come and join me. I'm on Facebook at Miss Rita to the Rescue. I am also in my Facebook groups, Cricut Newbies and Pros for Maker and Explore, for also for business. And we also have one for the older Legacy Machines Expression Create, um, the little baby bug. So c come and, and visit me in one of those places or here on my YouTube channel or on my blog. It's, which is very easy to remember, MissRitaToTheRescue.com. On my blog, are, we're blogging about cricket mostly, but we also talk about food. We, we talk about corgis, which is my favorite, favorite dog breed. Or we sometimes talk about my son, whom I, whom I call M.O. Um, and we would just love to have you. So come on down. <laughs> All right, and have a great day.